But there's a point right in the middle of like your heart center, they call it. And your fingertip will kind of fit right into a little hole, right on your sternum. This point is called CV17. It's known as the point of calm, the sea of calm, right? It's also a point that helps your lover to hear you when you're talking. So if you're having an argument or you're not quite getting through to your lover, you can touch them on their chest right here and say it again. You know, I need you to listen to me. I need you to stop and hear what I'm saying to you. You can't verbally understand what I'm saying to you, but this point on your chest automatically just brings a sea of calm over the body. Um, you have another point on the top of your head. This point is called thousand meeting. So all the meridians, all the acupressure points in your body come to this point. You can touch it right away or you can kind of ease your way up to it. Right? Now I'm touching him lightly, but I'm touching him confidently. Right? So I don't know, his eyes maybe rolled in the back of his head. Yeah, he, he ready. Yeah, he smiled. Right? But there's all these different points. These points on the side actually go to your gallbladder. Your gallbladder helps you digest fats, your cholesterol, you know, there's different points. Your temples, there's a point, there's a bone right behind your eyes. It's called the butterfly bone. It's the sphenoid bone. And it is, it helps with dreams, right? But you can also have this bone stuck and it can cause pain in different parts of the body. So lightly touching this area, but confidently with the weight of a nickel, right? So not too hard, but very light can help this bone behind the eyes wiggle free and move freely. And that can provide some relief. Also, just a nice hmm. confident squeeze, especially if they have a bald head. There you go. Right? <laughs> Most men who have bald heads have usually had them for a long time. And once they go bald, they never go back. That's right. Because you could have all these different nerve endings. This part of the back of your neck where it kind of moves, you know, the occiput, mm -hmm. and this frame and magnum where your, your brain comes out of your body, out of your head and goes down into the rest of your body, spreads the nerves and everything out. This part is known as God's mouth. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that you can do with just this part of the head. You can hold it, you can put ice on it, and it just stimulates a different um, sensation in the body, a relaxing or calming sensation. It's touching your man's heart will help open up his ears, <laughs> right? And then again, those, depending on what he does, he worked on the computer all day long. <laughs> and his temples and ears are very sensitive. So your ear also is like your hand, is like your foot. It has a map of the whole body. So all you have to do is be confident, be gentle, and use your intuition following the curves of the bones, noticing where the muscles kind of stop and start and noticing there's a point on the bottom outside of the knee it's an earth on earth point it is the master point for the whole body it's also known as walk three miles so if you need a little extra energy for your sex games or to get a little farther down the road you can massage this point on the other side on the inside 
This meridian is known as the spleen meridian, and it comes all the way up into your genital area. But you can massage that spleen and help build the immune system, right? Mm. So there's these different points that are not necessarily sexual, but they help you relax your lover and provide an intimate space. The last point I want to show you guys is this point in the back. You know, your kidneys are back here. Mm -hmm. Your kidneys are your life force. Leading cause of death for black men is kidney failure. <coughs> okay, it's very serious. Now, after your kidneys fail, you get diabetes. This point, this area is known as the Ming Men. It's where you keep your life force. Right? Men lose their life force through ejaculation. Women lose their life force through menstruation and having children. So giving your lover, holding your lover here in the small of the back, holding on to their kidneys, sending your loving energy, helps them to live a little longer. Adds to their life force. And I think when you're adding to your lover's life force, that only enhances everything you got going on. Yes, I love that. <laughs> Give it up for on me. Always putting me on the spot. That's what I would do. So I'm not the